More than 800 women die from pregnancy or childbirth-related complications around the world every day. Now, to shed more light on the infant mortality rate in Namibia, we are joined by the World Health Organization country representative to Namibia, Dr. Charles Sagu Moses. Good evening, Dr. Charles, and thank you so much for making the time to join us. Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to invite me you know, to your studio. Doctor, where is Namibia globally ranked in the as far, or as far as infant mortality is concerned? Okay, let's look at the picture from the global angle. Mm -hmm. The fact that in 2016, 2.6 new newborns you know, died in, within the first month of their life. Mm -hmm. Now, because of that, the Sustainable Development Goals have one of the targets to reduce newborn deaths to 12 per 1,000 life births by every country, and also to reduce by to 25 to 1,000 life births of under five mortality. Mm -hmm. Now, here in Namibia, according to the World Health you know, Statistics, mm -hmm. Namibia's under five mortality rate is 45.4 per 1,000 life birth. Now, that ranks about the, the ninth in the African region, mm -hmm. where the first is Mauritius, which has about, about over 13 per 1,000 life, life uh, you know, births. Now, what is important is really l looking at how to reduce it to the gold you know, standards, which is the sustainable development goals. And that is what Namibia as a country is trying to do. The good thing here is that all this has been articulated in the N, um, NDP 5, where the government wants to reduce all these uh, mortalities. Mm -hmm. uh, newborn mortality and under five mortality. On the part of NDB5, considering the gap or the, the, the large distance between where we are currently now in terms of mm -hmm. statistics and the goals that we've set for ourselves, do you think the government is doing enough in addressing this issue? That's why the NDP5 of the government has mm -hmm. been taken up by the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. into their national strategic uh, you know, plan, which is a five-year plan to actually half the uh, under five mortality rate within five years. Mm -hmm. And then to uh, reduce by about 20% um, uh, uh, under five mortality rate within a five year you know, period. Therefore, all these efforts are being made. Now, the Ministry of Health cannot do this alone. Mm -hmm. And so all hands are on board. I mean, all partners are on board and we, the WHO, the, the UN family, the civil societies, the private you know, sector are all helping the government to be able to achieve or, uh, this, this goal. And uh, some of the practical things that you know, we are doing is we are supporting the, the government mm -hmm. in improving the quality of care. Mm -hmm. And the point we are making here is that uh, we cannot talk about a healthy society if some people in the society are dying before the one month of life, that is the, the, within the first one month of life, mm -hmm. some people cannot live up to five years, mm -hmm. that is um, the under five mortality rate. And so the issue is inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. Inclusiveness leads to a healthy society. On the part of inclusiveness, mm -hmm. and earlier you mentioned the private sector, Yes. what role can they play in complementing the government's efforts? Private sector, and it's not only them, mm -hmm. civil societies, uh, you know, other partners, and, but specifically with the private sector, mm -hmm. what they can do is to make services also available to the poor. I can give an example of um, a, a private hospital Mm -hmm. in Ondang, uh, uh, Ondang, Ongwediva, Ongwediva yeah. yes. 
that runs a mission every year for, uh, for the poor mm -hmm. to take care of their health needs you know, free of charge. And this mm -hmm. is one way of extending a hand to the poor and those in the uh, rural areas. But it's important also to note that it's not only those in the rural areas. Mm. We have people in the peri-urban areas, mm. the, the uh, informal settlements, who are poor, who are marginalized, mm. who are vulnerable. And these are the people that we need to pay attention to. If we want to reduce the uh, and the five mortality rate in this country. Dr. Lossley, just before we run out of time, this problem is not unique to Namibia alone. Yes. What lessons, briefly, can Namibia learn from other countries that have reduced their infant mortality rates? Some of the lessons are really doing things out of the box. Mm. You know, one, like the uh, emphasis on health extension workers, to bring the services no closer to the people. Mm to provide primary health care services where the people live. Then to uh, um, emphasize on, on quality of care mm -hmm. in the health you know, facilities, in terms of, of the training, in terms of providing equipment, etc., to um, uh, the health workers wherever they are. The other thing has to be the engagement and empowerment of the community. Then the empowerment of women then involving, I mean, really, really uh, having a broad, um, um, a broad representation, broad involvement. So in a nutshell, this is something that all of, one, all yeah, of us have to do. All of us must be on deck. As issue. I said, it should be inclusive. Mm. Unless we include everyone, we cannot take care of the vulnerable. Dr. Charles, thank you so much once again for making the time to join us. Thank you very much.